2,000 years ago, Aristotle's theory of gravity stated that heavier objects fall to the Earth quicker than light objects. And on the surface, this seems to make sense. Heavier objects weigh more, they exert a greater force. But in 1589, Galileo proved him wrong. The legend goes that Galileo reached over the edge of the Leaning Tower of Pisa and simultaneously dropped a light musket ball and heavy cannonball from the same height. Both objects plummeted towards the Earth and hit the ground at exactly the same time. But why does this happen? Well, today we're going to find out and get the answer to that age-old question of which lands first, the chicken or the egg? Now I hear you say, what about air resistance? Well, you're right, air resistance does play an important part too. I've already experienced just how important air resistance can be when jumping out of a plane in this previous video. But if we compare two different objects which generate different amounts of drag, such as this hammer and this feather, and drop them at the same time, well, I'm sure you can guess which hits the ground first. Apollo 15 astronauts performed this same experiment, but on the surface of the moon. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? But for our egg and chicken, the difference in air resistance between them is negligible, so we can discount its effects for the purposes of our experiment. Now all we need to do is find somewhere high enough to drop them from. Now, we may not have our own leaning tower at Bristol, but we do have a cherry picker which can get up to 15 metres. And we're at the top of the cherry picker because today we've got heavy chicken. Here you go, Ross. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I like to call her Mabel. Oh. Hi, Mabel. Mabel. <laughs> yeah. um, and we've also got a light egg. So there you go. All right. And what you need to do is drop them from the same height at the same time, and we'll see when they land. Okay, let's give it a go. Already? Yeah. Okay. In Am I position. aiming for that X? Yeah, you want to try and get as close to the X as you can. <laughs> give it a go, try your best. I'll try my best. Okay, from the same height, same time, ready for a countdown. From three, two, one, drop. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so Galileo was right. Both the chicken and the egg experienced the same acceleration due to gravity. And what that means is they hit the ground at exactly the same time. But why? No, why, Ross? I don't know. <laughs> if the chicken has more mass, it weighs more, meaning that it's experiencing a greater force of gravity pulling it down towards the Earth. Now, if this is true, why doesn't the greater force pull it faster? Well, it's because objects with a bigger mass also have a bigger inertia. Inertia describes the resistance to any change in the state of motion of an object. In English, that means that heavier objects are more sluggish. Since the heavier chicken has more inertia than the egg, it resists acceleration, requiring a greater force to get it going. Now, here comes the important part. The ratio of inertia to the force of gravity for our chicken, our egg, even for Ross, is exactly the same. And therefore, everything accelerates at the same rate. And this is why Galileo was right, and they hit the ground at exactly the same time. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch me reach terminal velocity as I jump out of a plane? Or for more on inertia, check out how ice skaters spin. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.